At first glance, there might not look like there's a big difference between Xbox and PC when it comes to Halo 4, but in this video we're going to dissect and analyze the visuals of the cutscenes, the in-game graphics, the performance of each platform, and the load times as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you an analytical video of Halo 4. It recently came out on the PC flight guys, so I thought I'd do a comparison to kind of show you the differences between PC and Xbox. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. So let's get right into the content here. So just some upfront information guys. My PC, I have a Ryzen 7 2700X and a GTX 1080 Ti for a graphics card and for the performance here. And for the console, I have a standard Xbox One. The lowest common denominator you could find, but you know, they do have to code these games for this console in mind. For recording, I used Shadowplay on PC at 60 FPS, 1080p, and then for the console recordings, I used an Elgato HD 60, which is at 1080p, 60 FPS as well. I did render out this video in higher resolution, so I highly suggest if you can to use those higher resolutions in this video to truly get a better sense of the comparison between the two platforms. For this first clip, I wanted to show the difference between the cutscenes. You can see between the Xbox and PC, there really isn't much of a difference at first, as you can see that that maybe the PC version is a little bit clearer, but uh, you know they're the same scenes. Or the lighting looks the same as well. Uh, the graphics aren't necessarily improved either between the two. On PC, I'm running on extended graphics, which is kind of the higher end stuff, which is really kind of more involves draw distance, if anything. Uh, so what we're really going to compare here is an upcoming screenshot of Master Chief at close up right here, so you can kind of see the difference between the two different platforms. And as we kind of freeze frame it right here. You can see that the Xbox version, maybe like the uh, contrast isn't as deep as PC, even though there is no uh, HDR when it comes to the PC platform from uh, MCC. But you can see right now, it's still the same frame rate, the same kind of FOV. It all looks generally about the same. Right here's a side-by-side -side comparison of just the in-game graphics that you can see between Xbox and PC. You can definitely tell the difference with the FOV and the increased contrast that you have with the PC options as well. Uh, also keep in mind that the frame rate on PC, it's much higher. On the highest settings, I'm getting roughly about 90 to 120 frames, where on Xbox, you're stuck at 60. Here are some more visual comparisons, really just kind of showcasing the difference between Xbox and PC when it comes to like FOV and draw distance and things like that, especially on this grand shot that we have in the beginning of the game. You get much more grander, wider experience with the higher FOV than you do on the Xbox version, which is kind of much more narrow. It still looks fantastic, still plays great, uh, though I will definitely say that if you have to have a wider FOV, it just kind of gives you a bigger option, a bigger picture of everything out of these grand scale of items that are in Halo 4 which are quite awesome to look at especially with the skyboxes. Now this next section is the biggest reason why I'm playing on PC when it comes to playing Halo 4 is the performance on the PC is way smoother than it is on the Xbox. On PC you have unlimited frames that actually are super smooth much like in Halo 3 and ODST. You can get above 60 frames and it just plays like butter which is great. And so you can kind of see here for example you jump on a PC it's pretty smooth and crisp. When you jump on the Xbox I don't know if it comes through in the video but it is very framey. You see this one section I keep overlooking this rail section on the left side hopefully you can tell the framiness on the xbox compared to the pc now this framiness frame drops are all over the place when it comes to halo 4 on the original xbox this also happens in multiplayer as well during a game where you're under full load of multiple people shooting and explosions happening and so being able to play this on pc with a smoother frame rate is a much more enjoyable experience here's another example of the frame drops i'm talking about hopefully it comes through on the video and you see some popping geometry as well with this beginning part of one of the missions in halo 4 of course, once you actually get to the main area lobby, it looks about the same, really. Uh, you don't really notice much difference when it comes to like texturing or lighting or uh, visual effects or anything like that, really. The main difference is in the FOV and also with the frame performance as well. Again, playing on PC, it's a much stronger uh, hardware that's in your PC, most likely, when you're playing. So you can play at a higher frame rate with a much smoother experience. And for the last test, guys, I want to compare the load times. I timed them up exactly on the final confirmation beep exactly on the audio guys so this is just about as fair as possible as you can get for the load times now i'm loading on my pc it's just a standard four terabyte hard drive disc it's not an ssd so if you put it on an ssd it would load even faster but you can tell in this video 
just by the hard drive disk by itself, it loads pretty quick compared to the Xbox One. It takes quite a bit more time to load into. Now this isn't exactly in-game kind of comparison, but it definitely involves the user experience when it comes to load time. So PC has a much faster load time than Xbox One. Ultimately, guys, it doesn't really matter what platform you're playing Halo on. As long as you're playing Halo and having fun, that is what actually matters when it comes to this. But I know a lot of people want to see the difference because why bring it to PC when you get the same experience on Xbox? Well, not exactly. And that's why I wanted to highlight in this video. Both platforms have their pluses and their minuses as well. So it's all just kind of comes down to preference ultimately, guys. So no need for a platform war, exactly. It's all about playing Halo and having some fun. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Thank you so much for watching the video. and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.